Kai versus the world. All right, welcome back, guys. Another screenshot Saturday. We had. So what happened is this. Let me tell you a little story. So we had about like 25 or I think 30 different developers who posted their amazing games on here last weekend. I, did, I was very busy. I did not get to get to those awesome, amazing indie developers, respond to them. So I'm like, you know what? Repost this or leave it up. And now we have 49 amazing indie developers here. Let's get ready to just talk about them and hopefully add some more amazing games to our ever-growing wish list. All right, up first we have Card Retrieve. Welcome back, by the way, to Screenshots of Today. He has here, he says, happy Screenshots of Today and thanks for hosting. This week, we altered the gauge VFX with looking into Hollow Knight, Super Smash Brothers, Kill a Kill, amazing, amazing inspiration to draw from, by the way. Kill a Kill is a very funny, hilarious anime. Smash Brothers is one of the best fighting games ever. And Hollow Knight is a masterpiece. Let us know what you think about it and give us some more suggestions on how we can alter it dude always give you some, some feedback so you can go ahead and make the game better and better and better we have here let's see here let's pause for a second we have here look at that we have the card here before he's going through the ghosts like last week i think it was last week then here oh little sprites around him like he's got a little heat around him when he picks things up that's a lot cooler Okay, okay, so the first one was like a little spike in the small or yellow ore around him. This one, it trails him. That's better. I, I think I like the um, the trailing of the flames. The trailing of the flames, speaking of anime, Naruto, the bijou. Whenever a certain um, ninja goes into bijou mode, they have a little ore around them and it trails them. Blue, red, yellow, white, whatever it is, their, their bijou's ore is, that's what it reminded me of. That looks cool. I say keep the after. Absolutely keep that one, that's good. This is such an awesome improvement to the original idea. I love it. Reminds me of the view mode in Naruto. The way the aura builds and trails off the character. Very cool. Love it. Boom. All right, up next we have, I am not sure how to say this name and forgive me for butchering it, I will butcher it. It's um, Marus. Kowal, Kowal, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm calling it, call it MK. Let's we have MK here, Unusual Soft, this is a tag on Twitter, there we go. I believe you're the first time here, so welcome. This game you have here, Meet Vampire vs. Devil. This game right here, it looks kind of like Castlevania. Old school NES Castlevania, or a very cool retro Metrovania video game. I love the look of it. Looks like Count Dracula versus a bunch of demons. Let's see exactly what he has here for us. Let's, let's go. I love it so far. This is so nice. Ooh. To win it kill? That is tough. Oh my god. It's a hardcore platformer. Old school retro hardcore platformer. I love it already. Great music too. Vampire vs. Devil. Dude, I love that. Love that so much. The music was old school retro. Brought me back to when I was young playing Castlevania with my friends. Love it. Love the design. Love the difficulty. It's going to be hardcore tough. One hit deaths in this game. I'm hoping there's checkpoints in this game. If not, then okay. I guess it's like a you know permadeath type of situation where you go as far as you can. If you die, just gotta figure out how not to die. Just don't die, and you can get through the whole game and win it and become a champion. But I gotta say, ten out of ten in this game. This game's very cool. I love this game. The retro design, the soundtrack, the absolute. The punishing difficulty. Dude, this looks brutal and beautiful. I can't wait to die many, 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 many times. So cool. All right, up next we have Flair, the Pyro Saga. He says, thanks for hosting Happy Screenshot Saturday. Added a grab, it'll only work if the enemy is dizzy. Almost all of the main mechanics are done. I just need to add one more and then I can start to refine them. Okay, okay, let's see this, let's see what he has here. We did see this last month 
and he had this really cool design inspired by Saturday morning cartoons. If you watch Saturday morning Saturday morning cartoons back in the 90s, you weren't born in the 90s. I'm sorry, but you I am just very, very seasoned. And you are not. But anyway, here we go. Oh, nice. Nice. So you can get up the enemy, make him do some combos, make him dizzy, and then grab them. That's awesome. I love that. Oh, and you can juggle them in the air too. Dude, this is like reminiscent of like a lot of 90s cartoons, the fighting games, the beat em ups. Back in the Sega, the dominated Sega and Nintendo. That is so cool. When this gets refined and updated, it's gonna look beautiful. You only see you only see the um the count up in the uh, left upper left hand corner. It's like really faint and you can't see it. It's showing how much damage has been done. Like one, two, three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits. I love this so much. Very retro and throwback to the beat em up fighting game platformer era of gaming. Love the combo system you are developing and air juggles hell yeah keep it up all right oh up next we have headbang games he says thanks for hosting this screenshot of today we're sharing some new footage from our game bad pad you did not tell me you're making a new game or another game on top of be clouded fantastic okay i guess guys headbang games has it be clouded and bad pad Clouded is a beat em up horror game, platformer game. Uh, I think pseudo Metrovania. This one looks like another platformer, but more so retro. This looks cool. Oh, okay, get it 70%. Oh, okay, gotcha. I missed the sale for it. I didn't know you had it here. Mm. Okay, but I want to see the gameplay anyways because I've been snapping up. I've been you know, grabbing and picking up and playing a lot of platformers and a lot of roguelites. So this one tickles my fancy. Absolutely. I'm picking this one up too. Here we go. Oh, the music is great too. It's like, I want to be the Boshi. Oh, oh, nice. That is so cool. The helicopter head. Oh, you got hit. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It's like, it's like hell in the Sonic universe. What is going on right now? All I know is this little guy is very ballsy. Ooh, almost got killed. This little purple guy, man. He's working it. I'm guessing he's trying to audition for the Teletubbies. But he's just too damn badass to, you know, make it past the first round of auditions. Oh my god. The precision platforming in this game is so insane. Dude. I thought for a second that purple was bad. They might die on it. I guess not. Go, kid. Go, 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 go. The skeleton throwing bones at the character. The character almost touching the lava. Getting up there, rush minute in, winning. Holy crap. Bad pad looks amazing. I'm so sorry to not get this game. Uh, during the Lunar and New Year's and sale on Steam, I picked up like eight games on that sale. I was very responsible. I was very, very responsible with it. The wallet was not hurt too bad. Just a little bit. The wallet's ego hurt because I picked up so many good games. That looks fun. I can see myself playing, dying, raging, coming back and playing again. That's so cool. What? I didn't know you created another game. This looks nuts. I can see myself getting all kinds of wrecked in this game, but enjoying myself. The metal music, the near death experiences. Dude, this is amazing. Up next we have R1K Games. It says, hey, thanks for hosting again. Finally finished up some coding. I've been working on this week, so I'm back to working on level design. Here's a little look, nice. Every week, man, R1K Games, I think like three weeks in a row, we've been coming back here showing off this amazing Pixis Quest. In the first part of the clip, once you drop down, is where you'll learn the double jump. Double jump is very essential to every platform game. You'll need to use it to get through some rooms, loop back around to the top before you can continue on. I love that. I love how when in the beginning of Metrovania games, platform games, where you're going through levels, you know, you see a level above you like, oh, if I had one more jump or a wall bounce or some kind of clawing or climbing ability, I can get up that next level and see where that mysterious path goes. You don't know yet, but then two, three bosses later, they give you some double jump mechanic. You got to go back and then double jump your way up to the new path. So cool, love that. Keeps you engaged. So here we go, he has some new footage for us. New gameplay, let's see it. Oh, smash. 
I think last week he had, he showed us uh, the death animation or the print animation of the big old crazy male that smashed your face. And we have color coded. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's an enemy of some sort. Everything has color in it. Yeah, probably he's an enemy. Oh, it's a porcupine. Uh, disguised as a gumball machine. I want to know more about that um, pseudo gumball machine. What it is. I know it's an enemy now because he beat him up and exposed the Pokemon inside. Did he just phase through the enemy by, oh, down kicking? So the bees we know you cannot touch or else will die. But I want to know if this game has any kind of, uh, any sort of um, checkpoint. Because these levels might be difficult in the future and you get more and more abilities. If you die, ooh, that would suck to go all the way back to the beginning. Go through it. There it is. Boom. Boom. Love the new backgrounds too. The enemies are hilarious, are very cute, but of course are deadly. There we go, they're deadly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dude, so many new things to talk about here. The new enemies are adorable, yet deadly. The new area is very cool and unique looking, loving the traps that may smash you into next week. Everything is looking great. Is that a gumball? that she's fighting oh nice we have uh, up next soul passage game today our cool friend thank you for nice screenshot space of course this weekend we have gay transitions between the worlds very cool metroidvania game platform game like i said last time you gotta have a way to do a warp and i've seen some very interesting unique ways of or different spins on the teleportation warp for these kind of games so let's see what he has here our games start to come together before the gameplay trailer. Here we go. Okay. This is called Soul Patch's Game. He has a brand new footage for us. Almost a minute. Let's see it. Beautiful, beautiful background and foreground. Wow. Wow. Dude. The, fir the first gameplay footage I saw of this game. It was nowhere, no, it was like a preview of this. This is looking very, very fleshed out and very nice. See, double jump and dash, nice. I love the hand-drawn graphics. There is the hell level. So they can't hurt you, can't they? That is so cool looking. And he said that that was a level before the boss battle. Wow. I always love it when platform games like this, they always they can play with the foreground and the background. This is something that Hollow Knight perfected. That I like how uh, indie game companies are, um, they turn put their own spin on this. See, in the way, way it's, it's like a background, right? And then a way, way layered background behind it, like those huts back there behind the vines, behind the platforms, and then you get to the character and platform, and then you get to the branches here in your face. Like that is, makes it feel more fleshed out. It's like a play, like the curtains are right, are, are the branches and then the play, and then the stage is the platform and the character. I gotta say, it's really cool. And the background music is very nice. Love it. Uh, I think it's a Decinic project, pixelsphere.org made that music. Very nicely done. Love it. One word. Wow. This looks incredible. I did not expect to see this level of detail so soon and development you guys have worked so hard over the past few months and it really shows keep up the great work man love it love it love it next we have johnny chainsaw he says thanks for the space i'm showing off some of the levels from the demo demo was built and should be available next week so right now it's like the 29th 31 has january about the 6th my math is right Okay, so we have, here we go. He says, um, would love for you to check it out. I am going to check it out, man. Absolutely checking it out. I want to see exactly how this game is. I've seen you create the game and show us the progress of it over time. And I got to say, man, absolutely impressive. But I want to see how many times, I can, how many times or how creatively I can die in this game and then showcase it for the world to see, you included. Let's see here. I, I, the one thing I love about this, this game is the color palette. I'm a big fan of like sci-fi and cyberpunk. This has that. It looks so nice. It's like it's like you're inside of a pinball machine, a neon light pinball machine, and you're trying to escape. 
I imagine that's what it is. That looks incredible. So how, if this is, I'm sure this, these are cir the circuits, is electricity go out. No, you have to time it right to go through it and not get shocked to death and die. But this is gonna be cool to see. This would be interesting to go, uh, go through without dying. I'm gonna try to do a no death run unsuccessfully, but I will try nonetheless, because I am not a quitter. I don't know why you will listen to me on this. I know my research is right. I'm dying, and this is the only way to save everyone. Ooh, the deep story behind this game. There's a much bigger story here that we don't know. I'm playing the demo. I want to see the story, and I want to see how difficult these levels are you designed for us. Dude, I am so playing the demo as soon as I can. The screen shots alone make me very interested in completing each level with very minimal deaths. Also, the story is very eerie, yet seems intriguing. Can't wait! Nice! Oh, nice! We have Mr. Sleepy Man go back to bed. This happy screenshot Saturday. Thanks for hosting. Mr. Sleepy Man is on the loose yet again. When, when is Mr. Sleepy Man not on the loose? When, when is he just gonna lay down, sleep, and enjoy himself? Why, why not just like, you know, just not bug people and mind your manners and mind your business? He won't, he's Mr. Sleepy Man. He's just full of hijinks. And when Mr. Sleepy Man is on the loose, no one is safe. Again, if you have not seen this game or heard about this game, guys, you have to add this to your wish list. Every time I showcase this, I laugh, I smile, I enjoy myself. This game looks hilarious. It reminds me of the Saturday morning cartoons. Here we go. Mm, mustache, man. It's gonna be okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there it is. He took it. <laughs> oh, commit. A th yes! It's like Goose Game. So every time you hear something really mean and mischievous, it's part of your mission. I love it. <laughs> oh, pick up. Oh, see? This is sour and then he's sweet. Make amends. That's so nice. And then take it, take it, take it, take it. He took it again! <laughs> I guess Reggie means nothing to you! Dude, it's hilarious. Yes. Oh, man. Dude, yes. I am so for this game. You have no idea. <laughs> I laughed all the way through this clip once again. I had no idea this game included these obscure and hilarious missions. Dude, can this game come out tomorrow, please? That is hilarious. I, I love the Goose game and that you're just an absolute jerk to everyone you came across, but that was part of your mission is to make people's life hell. And some people, you, you make them the life hell, you're sour, and then you're sweet again to them, like this. He steals the register, and then he brings a flower to them. Both are stolen. One from the earth and one from the desk. But And then he steals again. This is when you think, oh, he's so nice. He steals again. Mr. Sleepy Man Man, leave people alone. Up next, we have another one here. We have Delivery for Dr. Stratus Game. That hey, you absolutely right. Better late than never. As a horror fan, I love jump scare moments. I try to make these techniques not so aggressive, but just as unexpected. Okay, last time you did this to me, I forgave you. I'm like, okay, fine. The character was walking towards the door, the music was really, you know, picking up and screechy, and then he answered the door, but then blah, a monster right next to him. This is a new one here. This is a new clip here. Let's see if I freak out just as much as last time because, oh, come on, man. I'm sitting here by myself in my little pseudo studio here, and I think I'm ready for a jump scare. Let's see it. Okay, all right. Oh, every step is creaky. Oh! Oh my god! <sighs> got me. <sighs> Damn it, you got me again. <laughs> oh, dude. Seriously? Again? You got me. I thought he was coming from the door. Or behind the bed. I was very, very wrong. Well done. This game looks absolutely creepy. Is this one of the game over scenarios? 
All right, up next we have Heredity Action RPG. Here we go, he says, happy Saturday to you. Thanks for hosting. Uh, new news, Heredity's Steam page is now live for wishlists. I'm, dude, I'm there. I'm going, after this, I'm gonna wishlist this, and I'm gonna wait for the demo, for the demo, and then I'm going to wait for the game to come out and buy the game. I've been following this game for about, say two and a half months, and every single update I've seen so far has been very impressive, so yes, awesome stuff. Also, the dev has been working on spells again, below the testing of Summon Skeletons. Enjoy. Oh, so now not only can you um, attack skeletons, like in before, you can make them your friend, almost like a necromancer from Diablo. Love that. Skeleton Brawl, Summon Skeleton Testing. Here we go. This is the newest update uh, clip here he has for his game, Heredity. Nice. Put a strat over there, okay. Under his spell, right? Are they gonna fight? Oh, 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 oh! That is smart. So if ever there's like a horde of skeletons trying to attack you, you throw up this big old mist here. Boom! They fall into it, and they start fighting each other. They get confused. So they are their own enemies. That would be very helpful. Sit back, level up, watch your uh, experience grow. Look at this. He's literally standing, in, <laughs> sitting right there, right in the middle of the fighting, and no one's touching him. Oh man, it's like a commentator. Front row seats, so you would see skeleton brawl. Oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Be close to the action. Very cool. Let's get ready to rumble. Had to do it. <laughs> this new spell will come. And handy during a swarm of crazy enemy. Very cool and well animated spell casting. Love it. All right, last one here we have Noisy Head Games. Beyond the Long Night, I gotta say, man, I'm hoping this game gets a lot more eyeballs on it. I'm hoping this game gets a lot of love on Kickstarter. I already already gave myself an update for the Kickstarter right here. First time I saw this game last month, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Save tomorrow officially, because I'm recording this on the 7th. Tomorrow officially is the first day the Kickstarter comes out. And I really, really hope everyone that hear my voice and seen this video goes out there and just checks out the Kickstarter to support this game. I want this game to be a reality. I guess I'm very biased to platform games and storied Metrovania platform games and roguelike games as well. So yeah, I, I'm all for this game. And I think I saw part of the early version of the trailer before. This is the newest Kickstarter trailer. So let's see exactly what this game is about. Beyond the Long Night, it seems very heartwarming. Here we go. Love the music already. Great music. A charming roguelike adventure. Oh. Oh, the pixel art. This looks beautiful. It feels like Noita meets Hollow Knight. Wow. Oh, I love this. So, oh, someone's got killed. <laughs> Befriend the mountain folk. What do the balloons represent? I'm guessing they're power-ups? Recovery mysteries. Okay. This is so cool. Unleash chaos. I really love this game right now. Look at slow time down. Skip the darkness. Dude, I want to live in this game. Discover what lies beyond the lights. On the long night. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's so it's so charming. Give me from like the from the the trailer and the music and the graphics. I love pixel art graphics too. But it's I love how the character like is just always strung in this balloon contraption. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll, I'll read more about it on the Kickstarter when, when it's live to learn more about this game. Oh my goodness. 
And only three views? No. This game, I'm hoping, gets a lot more love. Please. I want this game to be a thing. I love these kind of charming, immediately grabs you emotionally kind of games. That's what this game is to me right now, okay? Like before, it was Artful Escape. I don't want to have to wait five years for this game to be a thing. Make this game a thing. Wow. This small clip alone really touched my heart. So emotional, charming, funny, and creatively beautiful. Backgrounds, yeah, the various attacks used, the movement, environmental image. It's great. Good luck on Kickstarter. I really want this to get funded. Please support this game. All right, that's it for this video, my friends. 49 amazing developers here. I'm gonna go through all of them and answer each and every last one. If you don't, if you see your, your um, game here featured amazing, if not, come back again. I will still reply to every single thread, every single post, that's what I do. I wanna make sure every single indie game developer has a voice, or his voice is heard. If you love this, guys, please do subscribe, hit that like button, and share with your friends. If you wanna be a part of this again, I'm here every single Saturday. Peace out Saturday. Hashtag, uh, if you see me post it, jump on all in, drop your game. I will talk about it. And you may see your game featured here on the YouTube channel of Kai vs. The World. I'm also, I also jump on Wishless Wednesday, sometimes Feature Friday if I have time, but mostly I'm always on screenshots Saturday. That's my thing. Plus, I also have a podcast. It's called The Only Games Podcast. I interview amazing developers. So far, we've had EM Game Dev. Of a galaxy divided uh, we had uh, squid shock studios with Bo, and i just had a conversation with the developer of cat capacity such amazing passion from this guy with jt mitchell fantastic dude go check it out guys very soon will be up i've been catality guys this has been another screenshot saturday feature keeping awesome i'll see you guys in the next video